heard of multiple sclerosis, but what does MS mean for everyday life? I'm Jill Horner, this is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Tammy Caesar. She is president of the Greater Delaware Valley Chapter of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me here. When we talk about MS, it's, it's a combination of symptoms, but give us an idea as to what MS includes and what it means for individuals who are diagnosed with MS. MS is just incredibly difficult. It is a chronic, unpredictable disease that if 20 people were in the room, all 20 would have a different course. And it's difficult because the symptoms can range from blindness in an eye to numbness and tingling down your fingers. But the, the issue is, is it's not just physical symptoms. It also has an impact in people's everyday lives. And you have a new awareness campaign, and this is called MS Means. Give us an idea as to how this campaign works and what it will show us about those living with MS. It really goes back to when we try to explain what MS is, people don't understand it and they're looking for a symptom, whereas with MS Means, we're trying to equate that symptom with a moment in life. So we're putting out a website and we're asking people to come on and tell their stories. And some of the stories are a grandmother who's, who can't move her arms and can't lift her grandchild anymore, or it's a father who wakes up up on the morning of his daughter's wedding and can't walk it, her down the aisle. Those are moments that, that impact you and stay with you. It's not just that he couldn't walk that morning. So all of these different challenges that those with MS face, is, is it also progressive? It can be. Uh, there are different forms of the disease. 75% of people have what is called relapsing remitting MS, which means their symptoms come and go. Uh, but many people move on to secondary pro progressive MS in which it is a, a more steady flow of the disease. Are there any treatments available? There are disease-modifying treatments available for people with, uh, with uh, relapsing remitting MS. Uh, they've been shots up until last year when the FDA finally approved an oral medication that is just now hitting the market. And you're looking for people to share those stories and they can visit that website, that MS Means website, uh, in order to share those personal stories and, and hopefully some of those are triumphs as well. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about ways that, that we can get involved with the organization. And you have a series of upcoming events and a lot of them sound like a whole lot of fun. They are fun. <laughs> We figure you can have fun while doing something good. Now let's talk about the walks. Uh, they are on April 17th and May 1st. You have sites all over the region. Yeah, we have 18 sites uh, across the greater Delaware Valley area, including South Jersey and Lehigh Valley. Uh, the walks are spread over April 17th and May 1st. Uh, it's a great way to get out on what will hopefully be an absolutely beautiful Sunday morning. And uh, people can come together and, and it's really a rallying cause for people living with MS or people who love somebody who has the disease. And we can visit your website for more information about how to sign up for all of these walks uh, and where they're being held the closest to us. Now, let's talk a little bit about the Mud Run. Oh, and yeah. last year was a great event and you're doing it again. Absolutely, it was so successful last year that we're actually doing it over two days. We expect to have at least 3,000, if not 4,000 people out running. Uh, it's a 10K run with 28 military style obstacles. If, if there's a place on your body that can get dirt in it, it will, but you will have more fun than you've ever <laughs> had in your life. And this is happening in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. It's on June 11th and 12th. And, yeah. and people should be aware this is a challenge, but it is fun and it's for a great cause. And everyone can do it. Last year we had people dressed up in lederhosen. We had a guy doing it in a suit because his office mate said he couldn't do it. And he said, not only can I do it, I can do it in a suit. Uh, people just have a great time. And people are also starting to prepare for your fall fundraiser. It happens in September. It's the City to Shore. Absolutely. This is an event our organization's been known for for years. We have about 8,000 people register and at least 7,000 people on the road Saturday just out there having a good time, riding their bikes because they care about someone with MS and they want to make a difference. And we just have a short time left, but for any of these events, we can visit your website for the specific times and dates and how to sign up. But how are the funds used that you generate through these fundraisers? Uh, we put a goodly portion to research because we want to find a cure and we also support people living with the disease right here in our community. So it's a dual mission. It's a, it's tough to, to manage both of those, but it's important to support people while they're living with the, M All the right. MS. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. We've been talking with Tammy Caesar, president of the Greater Delaware Valley Chapter of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. I'm Jill Horner.